I've got a quadratic equation, yeah. which I've written like that. I guess if we wanted to, is that quadratic equation? If we multiply it out? Yeah. Okay, all right then. Have a look at this one. What about if I added the roots together? I'm going to get minus seven. seven. Okay. Uh, we go minus seven. What if I multiply the roots? Or say the product. We're going to get 12, yeah? Okay. Take a look at the blue text at the top and at the bottom. Is there a link? Is there a connection? Yes. This time, we've got one like that. So you want to predict what the sum of the roots might be. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, so at this point, we've made a connection between the expanded version of the quadratic and that the sum, are we saying it's the negative of how many x's you've got? And the product is the number on the under. What about if you've got stuff like that one? Okay, are you happy with those being the roots, first of all? Are you happy that I've expanded out correctly? So the product of the roots is going to be? Seven and a half, are you saying? Or 15 over 2? Okay, 15 over 2. And the other one, if we add them together? Minus 6 and a half. Are those things, how are they still related to that? You just half them. You, you pull out the sum of everything. You pull out the what, what two? Coefficient of the x. Coefficient. So if that was a three there, I guess they'd be divided by three and so on and so on. Okay, I like this. But I'll have a really quick look. For the sum, we're going to write down plus or minus? 17 over 6. Plus 17 over 6. Okay, good. And for the product, 5 over 6. And you can probably see that because you're pulling it straight out of there, as well as multiplying them from there. Okay? So then you can come to that, and you can make a conclusion. If there isn't a letter there, what did, how do we work out the sum? Minus B, yep. Uh, how do you work out the product? C. Just C. But if there is the letter A there, divide it by minus B over A. So it's minus B over A, and C then C over A. If you were to write anything down on this topic, fingers crossed you've written the title somewhere already. But at that point, can we just pause and can you copy that board down, please? Particularly, in fact, the bottom half.